Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Z and I do videos on luxury handbags and fashion items. So today I wanted to do a part two of my birthday haul and we go back to my first love, which is definitely Chanel. So I have picked up a few items from Chanel. I'm not shopping as much with Chanel anymore due to quality, price increases, etc, etc. However, there are still items I really love from Chanel and I wanted to share with you a few items I did pick up from Chanel pre-loved also a new item and I wanted to talk a bit about each of them so let's get started so the first item I picked up for my birthday is a pre-loved item I missed it from the 2019 collection and it's this Chanel pink denim jacket I don't know if this is showing up properly on screen, however, it comes in this really nice cotton soft material. It has four pockets and here you can see what the buttons look like and it has wide sleeves as you can see here and along the bottom it has this Chanel in the tweed. So here I put on the jacket so you can kind of see what it looks like on me. However, it is a bit of an oversized fit. However, it comes slightly below the hip right here, but it is quite comfortable and it's very spacious. Great for the spring, autumn and winter, especially in Hong Kong because it doesn't get really hot. But I really love this color because I have a soft spot for pink. And as soon as I saw that it was available on the pre-loved market, I did and purchase it from a local reseller and I'm also going to show you some modeling shots of me wearing this jacket somewhere here in the video. So when it comes to buying Chanel pre-loved, I think you need to be very careful because there are authentic items but there are also fake items so you need to really know what you're looking for and also for a lot of the Chanel jackets, a lot of the jackets do get altered so even though they do show a certain size, the size could have been altered and also with Chanel jackets I find that their sizes are kind of everywhere so some jackets I may be wearing a size 34 whereas other jackets I'm wearing a size 40 so it really depends on the cut and the materials and how the jackets are made Made. I do find that a lot of the jackets from the Carl era do have very high arms and I think it's to make your arms look more slim. If you tend to be a bit more curvy then you can find that this area is a bit restricted but you really need to know what you're looking for in terms of size and cut and materials just to make sure that you're buying an authentic item and that the jacket will fit because most of the time a lot of these jackets might not be returnable so you just need to be very careful. I'm really happy to have found this jacket. I was able to get it below retail. It fits fine. The condition is really fantastic and I know it's something that I can wear over and over again in my wardrobe hopefully until I'm 90 but definitely very happy with this purchase. So the next item I got was heavily influenced by one of my subscribers, you know who you are, and of course fashionably Amy, and I have been eyeing this Chanel belt. As a Chanel fan and collector for so many years, I never really got a belt, and so I never thought I really needed one, and when I suddenly decided I want to try one, I found that they were really hard to find, especially in the larger sizes, these chain belts. So again, I had to go through the pre-loved market. I did find this at a reasonable price. It wasn't too inexpensive just because I think some of these belts are still quite highly sought after. I mean, I tried to ask my essay locally in Hong Kong to find me this belt. It was near impossible. So this is why I went through the pre-loved group. However, the condition of this this belt was practically perfect and I can finally say that my Chanel collection is complete because I was definitely missing a belt from Chanel and I look forward to wearing this on high-waisted pants or just to cinch in a top or a dress. This looks absolutely lovely. So the third item I picked up directly from the Chanel boutique brand new and I thought I would never get them because I thought they looked absolutely hideous. However, never say never, but I picked up 
the Chanel dad sandals. So these are, I believe, either in a calf or a lambskin, I'm not too sure, but it has the embossed leather so that it does look like tweed. And I'm not sure if you can see the color properly, but it is kind of like a baby pink color. So I have purchased these and worn these approximately five or six times. If you're interested to know my thoughts on these sandals after wearing them a couple of times, let me know and maybe I can do a separate review. I was also kindly gifted this from my essay from Cartier for my birthday. Came with this nice little card with the Cartier sticker at the back. Here is the beautiful card and it says, Dear Clara, happy birthday. May all your dreams come true. Best wishes from my essay at Cartier. Here it is beautifully wrapped. I really love how they wrap the box. It has the nice edges along here and the beautiful ribbon. So let's open this up together. Wow, this is so nice. It says here, Cartier Les Collections des Parfums. So it looks like a collection of perfumes. Let's open this up. Look at this beautiful box. Here's the top and here is the other side and the back and let's just open it like so and it reveals three bottles of perfume. Wow, isn't that pretty? Look at those bottles, so beautiful. So the first bottle here is Pure Magnolia and the second bottle here, I believe it says Le Diaphane. I have no idea what that means. It's hour of something in French. And the third one is simply an Oud Santel oud and santel, so a type of wood. So definitely I'm keen to find out how the three of these smell and if they smell nice, definitely I'd be open to trying Cartier perfumes. But definitely my favorite is still the Baccarat Rouge 540 in the Eau de Parfum. I know this is not for everyone, but definitely this is still my all-time favorite scent. And I did pick up a bigger bottle because i am already gone through my smaller bottle. And finally, the item I was most excited about getting and something that I have been delaying for the longest time is known to be the Hermes of Beauty Tools. Yes, the Hermes of Beauty Tools because this item is quite expensive but it is the Dr. Arivo Zeus 2. It's made in Japan and let me just show you what it looks like. So it comes in this beautiful box and then it has this other beautiful box and when you open it up it has the authenticity card and then it has some cables and a holder and this is what the beauty tool looks like so this is what it looks like and i believe this head is supposed to be gold plated and it moves around quite easily so that it's really easy to maneuver across your face but it has a couple of functions including LED lights here. So it has three functions, one called the RF mode, one called the MU mode, and one called the EMS mode. And my understanding is that these two modes can be used weekly and this one on a daily basis. And I believe it has a bunch of lights, including a red, blue, green, and purple lights. So I have used this one or two times already because I am aging and the skin is sagging. So I needed a lot of help to do some lifting and tightening. And I can say I've been pretty impressed. I do feel that my skin is more taut and lifted. There's also a mode for moisturizing to help your skin absorb moisture better so overall I have really enjoyed this and if you want a review on this tool later let me know and perhaps I can give you a more thorough review once I've had a chance to use this for a longer period of time. So this has been my birthday haul part two. I hope you also enjoyed the part one with the bag haul and now part two, mostly pre-loved items and definitely the beauty tool was a highlight for me. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And if you haven't done so already, please feel free to like and subscribe. You can also follow 
follow me on Instagram and I will put my account down below. And of course, if you'd like to support my channel, please feel free to buy me a coffee. I will put links down to where you can buy me a coffee down in the links below. Thank you so much for joining me on part two of my birthday haul. I do feel very blessed and fortunate. And most of all, what's most important to me is both physical and mental health, which knock on wood, I'm very thankful for. Anyways, I hope you have a fabulous day. And again, thank you for joining me again on my birthday haul part two. We'll see you next time. Bye bye now.